Welcome to Talk Now with DeMarcus Ware, and I'm your host, DeMarcus Ware. We are in the chill spot in my apartment here in Denver. Great day today, and uh, ready to get the show on the road. I want to leave you guys with this analogy. Have you ever wondered how those big cruise ships stay docked? Well, this man has been anchoring defenses for years. Five-time Pro Bowler two-time Super Bowl champion, and the man who put the sexy back in overalls. What's up, man? Vince Wilford. What's up, baby? What's good? Hey, good, man. Good good chatting with you, man. It's cool, man. It's good talking to you. It's good. It's good. As a fan and a player growing up, I always thought about big athletes, guys that can move, run at the same time, and at my position, speed kills. I mean, you, you're 6'2", 325 pounds. I mean, coming from the U, when you came out, you ran a five flat. That's the same speed as Phillip Rivers. I know it's faster than Tom Brady. <laughs> so do you think speed makes an athlete? You know, I, I think so. I don't think so. I think it's a, a good athlete is somebody that can have all different repertoires in their games. If some guys like you guys, you, you guys need to come around that edge. But also, you need strength. You know, when you've been in the corner and you got the bull rush guys and stuff. And with me, you know, it's me and my game more about strength. Um, but being able to move uh, sideways, that's the biggest thing for me. So, um, at the end of the day, I think you need both. In, I think you need strength and speed to be at your top, top of your game. Right. So, I know you scored, you were, what, three career? You got, you had actually, you scored one time. You got three oh, career. Man. Yeah, yeah. L- listen, I, we, we, we always predicate ourselves on touchdown now. <laughs> three, you got three career picks. Which which one? Three career picks or the touchdown? Picks. <laughs> I yeah. Feel, yeah, I, I, feel, I feel the same way. I'm a pick man. Uh, we I saw you on Hard Knocks a couple seasons ago. I didn't know that you can ball. Oh, yeah. Roll, 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 roll. You like that assist, boy, Vladi Diva. Here we go. Yes. You don't want it. Oh! You don't want it. He broke my life. They don't want it. I Before you tore your Achilles, I heard that you can dunk. I mean, yeah. is, is that true? Oh yeah. You know, I haven't I haven't jumped uh, like playing <laughs> basketball. I tore it up, so I'm like, I'm too big to be jumping up and down now, but. You know, to have three kids, and my oldest is 19, and my youngest seven, my daughter 13. Sometimes they want to go out in the backyard to play ball with dad. So I'm an old man now. We're getting around that court, but I can shoot the nails off the ball still. So it ain't, <laughs> it ain't too much I came to, you know, and I pride myself in that. You know, I, I, I was dreaming last night, and I opened up the Guinness Book of World Records. It said on there, Vince Wilford used to do backflips back in the day. Yeah. And I said... Hold on now. He, uh, no, I, I don't. I don't think that's true. <laughs> that could not be true. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I was. You know what? I was very athletic growing up, man. I, I used to. My dad used to work, you know, with the Montreal Expos, the expansion team, you know, and uh, we used to have big bags out there. Yes. And I used to go out there all the time, jump around, flip around, you name it, man. Just being a kid. And to this day, you know, I actually, be, like I said, before I told my killers, it was a lot of stuff I wanted to check <laughs> off my list so everybody can see that I just don't be making this stuff up. Exactly. And that was one. So I don't think I'm going to get back to that, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, you're good at what you do. You ain't got to worry about jumping. You just keep pushing those centers <laughs> and, and stopping that run, and you'll be good. But uh, enough about hoops. You know, I said you brought the sexy back in overalls. What, what? It's the overall deal there. What, what's up with it? I'm from the South. So you know, like, what's up with over? What's, what's up with the overall? Well, a lot of people don't understand. You know, I have a hundred acre ranch. So, yes. And, that, and that's how I dress. You know, when I'm going out there and bailing hay, I'm feeding my horses and stuff like that, going to the hogs. That's what I. That's how I dress. I put on my overalls. I go on about my business. Even if I'm going, you know, going fishing, my overalls is absolutely a nice overall and cigar. You can't beat it. <laughs> I, I feel you on that. I was looking through a whole bunch of pictures. I'm like, what kind of questions can I come up with to ask him? And I, <laughs> and I seen this ESPN body issue. Okay, 
Oh, I yeah. said he had to be like, you know, had to be training hard to get around about two, 275 because I seen a six pack. <laughs> you know, how, how, how did that come about? Man, I ain't been 275 <laughs> since middle school, man. <laughs> but, um, you know, that was something that, you know, was brought to me when I was actually out, you know, this year I said, let me do something different. Let me, let me start training early because I normally give myself right. a lot. But you know, I'm getting a little older. Let me jump on it quicker. And um, as I was training, they was brought to me. Do I want to do it? And I was like, you know what? It's one in a lifetime uh, chance to do something like this. I said, absolutely, I will. And uh, we had a good time doing it, man. I, I don't regret nothing. I do it. Plenty <laughs> I love it. We had, we had a ball. I said, that. It was, it was just natural, you know, just having fun, being myself. Everybody made me comfortable, man, and, and, and we got we got some good picks. So with you knowing about, you know, season in the injuries, you know, have you ever just talked to JJ about, all right, this right here is what you have to do, or, you know, we got your back. When you, when you get back, you just need to recover. Like, what, what type of advice would you uh, would you give him? Well, I, right now, I'm giving just just to know and then be, be yeah. with him for here. He, uh, you know, he takes it hard because he always let us, he, he, he thinks that he let his teammates down, yeah. the coach and the fans down because he put, he demands so much of his, from himself. Um, so I'm right now giving him a little time, you know, to get through what he got to get through. Yeah. Once he start back, you know, being around and moving around, then I'll talk to him. But, um, you know, I know just, you know, like anybody, I mean, I've, 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 I've been hurt. And the last thing you want to do is just hear somebody mouth right away. Right, exactly. After a while, you start missing the guys, and when guys start coming around, you kind of you're in a better position, you're in a better spot. You know, you you back where you have you back in the locker room, moving around with us. Um, so right now, I'm just going to give him this time, but I, I will talk to him definitely though. All right, so so let let's talk about the Texans. You guys are three and one. Yeah. But you head to Minnesota this weekend. You know, it's always going to be a tough game. All road games are tough. They're a defensive team. You guys are a defensive team. So, what like, what do you think about them? How, how do you feel about them this week? I think, I think they're a well-coached football yes. team. Sneaky team. And, and, and they they one of those grinders. They going to, um, they're not going to turn the ball over. They're going to, get, you know, take what you give them, take their shots. And defensive, they, they they feel that they have one of the better, best defense in the game, and they play like that. Yeah. So we got to we got to find a way to steal a position possession, and sometimes that comes from special teams or turnovers. You know, um, you know those always the main things in games that can turn a ball game around. Uh, but knowing them, they they coach so well uh, by the head coach, man, and you just see every year they gotten better and better and better. And it's a reason they're undefeated right now. So we know how we know how tough it's going to exactly, be exactly. to go to Golden and play up there, especially in their new building. I know you played with uh, Tom Brady for so many years. You know he's been out. You know, played a little bit of preseason, been out for four games. You know, since you know him a little bit uh, more than I do, how do you feel like he's going to be going into this game, him playing this week? <laughs> well, if, if, it's, if it's up to him, he would want to throw for a thousand yards. Exactly. Like uh, but I'll tell you one thing: uh, his teammates they go they're going to be rocking for him. I don't yes. care where they play. Uh -huh. uh, if that that team is excited. That state is excited. That city, you name it, everybody in Patriot country right now is excited to have him back. And, and like I say, knowing his mentality, he want to throw for a lot of yards. Yes. So I, I expect you know you never know because missing some time, his game speed is different. So you just don't know how how quick you're going to get back up the game speed, and then you don't know. I mean, he's been playing for so long; he might he might not have to wait that long. So it's gonna be exciting to see. I'm glad that he's back playing, man, because the sport missed him, and and finally everything is kind of behind him. Not even just focus on football, but they're gonna be rocking for him. I guarantee you that. Yeah, we, I know we play y'all in a couple of weeks. Hopefully, I'll be back. You know, I, lo I look forward to beating y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring an oxygen tank over there to your side of the field and personally give it to you because you know the altitude is real. All right. Uh, look, I've been there a couple of times. I, I, I boy, trust me on that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just want to thank you, man, for being on the show, man. And it's, it's just good to have guys that are around the league that's consistent, that play well, that you know know what they're doing, man. And the thing is, they're just you know like true pros. And I just want to just say thank you for being on the show. Man, it was a good, it was a good talk, man. We should do this more in the future. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Good, man. All right, boy.